Hi, in this video, we will see how we could design a state feedback controller based on the LQR linear quadratic regulator for the MSD system, mass spring damper system. So the outline of this video is the following. We have a physical system which is consist of mass spring and damper. We will drive the differential equation of the system and then we will design the state space module of this system. Why we build the state space? Because we're designing a state feedback controller. So this controller requires from you the state space of the module. So we will controlling the system by using a state feedback controller and we will simulate the system using MATLAB secret. Now mass spring damper system. The basic element of any tricellating mechanical system is the three elements, which is the mass, and all we need to know is how the force in the mass. So the force in the mass is the mass multiplied by the acceleration, which is the x double dot, the second derivative of the position. Now, the second element is the spring, and the force in the spring is the spring coefficient multiplied by the x, which is the displacement or the position. And also we have the third term, which is the damper, and the force generated in the damper is uh, the b, which is the damping coefficient multiplied by the velocity, which is the first derivative of the position, x dot. So these are the three basic elements of any translating mechanical system. Now, considering the following system. So you have this system, which is consists of one mass and spring and damper. And there is actuator, which is the force applied to this uh, mass. And it's uh, uh, enforced the mass to go or move in this direction. Now, in order to drive the differential equation of the system, we will use the Newton's second law after we uh, draw the free body diagram of the system. So from this free body diagram of the system, and we assume that the force in this direction is in the positive and the force in this direction in the negative, so we have the following equation. F minus the force in this direction, which is the force from, uh, come from the damper and the force come from the spring, equal to the M x double dot which is the acceleration now in the purpose to build the state space model of the system we will rearrange the equation as the following which is x double dot 1 over so we just divide the the equation by m so 1 over m multiplied by the force knuckles minus b uh, divided by m uh, x dot minus k divided by m x now we will drive the state space model of the system we know in the state space there are two equations, the state equation and the output equation. For more details about the state space modeling, I will put link in the description. You could go and see in details what's the concept of the state space uh, modeling. So for the first equation, x dot represents the derivative of the state, a represents the dynamic matrix, x is the state of the system, b the uh, input matrix, u is the control input to the system y is the output c the output matrix x is the state of the system d is the forward matrix u is the input to the system for our system we have two states so the first state is the displacement and the second state is the velocity so if we put this two states here and we got the derivative of the state so this is the first derivative of the first state which is the x and this is the second the First derivative of this state, which is the x double dot. Now, we need to find A, which is the relationship between the derivative of state and the state. And also, we need to find B, which is the relationship between the derivative of state and the input to the system. So, in the open loop, the input to the system is just the force that applied. Now, for the A, for the first row, what is the relationship between x dot and x? There is no any equation or any relationship, so we put zero. And what's the relationship between x dot and x dot is the same, so we put one. Now, based on this equation, the relationship between x double dot and x, so from this we could see that minus k over m, and the relationship between x double dot and x dot is minus b over m. So this is a, the, the two coefficient representing the relationship between x double dot and x, and x double dot with the x. And in the same way, for the x dot, there is no relationship between the x dot and the input force to the system. But for the x double dot, there is 1 over m. So this is 
the coefficient related between the x double dot and the cos. So this is the first equation. For the second equation, which is the relationship between y and the two states, we are considering in our system that we need to control the displacement of the system. So because we are controlling the displacement of the system, we could say that the C or the, the matrix C is 1 because we are interesting in this state and 0 because we are not interesting in the velocity, we're just interesting in the position. So if we rewrite the A matrix, which is this, the B matrix or vector is this one, and this is C, and there is no relationship between the Y and the U, so it's 0. Now, if we have this, all we need is to write this code, and as we will see later, with this value, and we will see how the system will behave if we apply step input to the system without any control. Now, we are designing a state feedback controller based on the LQR. Now, before we get to the LQR, how we design the controller, let's have say that there are two problems in designing control system. So, we have the regulator problem and the tracking problem. In the regulator problem, we try to guarantee the stability of the system and improve the transient response of the system. So this is the regulator problem. And we will utilizing the LQR for this job. However, LQR doesn't improve the steady state uh, performance of the system. So if the system is not following the reference input, LQR will not improve the performance of the system. And that's why we will apply a forward gain in order to make the system tracking the, the, the input to the system. So we will use a combination of linear quadratic, uh, linear quadratic regulator with the forward gain in order to improve the performance of the mass spring damper system. Now, in order to design the control law, we will select this control law. So KR is the forward gain and KX is the feedback gain and R is the reference input and X is the state of the system. And this is the structure of the state feedback controller with the forward gain. And again, if you are not familiar with the state feedback controller and you need to have more information about the state feedback controller based on the uh, LQR and the forward gain, I will put link in the description and you could go there and you will see in details how to design a state feedback controller. Now, if you have this equation, which is the state equation, we will replace this U by this term. So this is the U and we will rearrange the equation until we get that this is the term multiplied by X and this is the term multiplied by R. So this is the new A of the system after the control law and this is the new B of the system after the control law. So we can say that this is the open loop A of the system and this is the closed loop A of the system. And we, we know that A and B and C and D, and they are cannot be changed by the designer. So that's why in order to change the closed loop pool of the system, we have this Kx, the feedback gain. We can manipulate this value in order to improve the location of the pool of the system. And also for the B, for the forward gain, so if you have any offset that your system uh, is not tracking the reference input, so you have Kr, by using Kr, Kr will uh, improve the steady state performance of the system. Now, we will use the LQR to determine the KX and we will use the DC gain to determine the KR. Now, again, I will put the link in the description to describe uh, in details what the LQR. Here, I will just summarize the concept. So, the basic concept of the LQR is determine the optimal control action U that improve the system based on this index function. So this is the index. We will minimize this index. So what we have to, uh, to input to this is the Q and R. The Q and R is two matrices. They are adjustable matrices. They try to, uh, let's say, trade off between what you would like, a fast response with very large cost on the control law, or you need low response with a small effort from the controller. So sometimes your controller is cheap, so you could use too much controller in order to improve your performance, but sometimes your controller uh, is not cheap, so you need to use a small control action with a less impact on our performance. And we will see that from the uh, MATLAB code. So we will have to decide the Q and R, and then we will find the KX using the LQR, 
and then we will have the state space in order to have the system and we will calculate the DC gain and by this DC gain we will multiply it by the B to find the closed loop B and we will see how the system will perform after we apply the LQR with the DC gain so let's go to the matlab now I write the code I will just explain the code step by step so in the first we write CLC to clear the common window clear all to clear all the value in the workspace close all to, clear, to close all the window so this is M and K and B the, the, the system parameter and this is the open loop uh, state space of the system so A is 0 1 minus K over M minus B over M B is 0 1 over M C 1 0 D 0 now if we run the system up to this point which is the open loop of the system so if I run the open loop of the system so as you can see the system is have oscillation and also the system we apply step on put so it should be uh, settled down on the one but it's like in 0.55 so we have a error steady state and also we have oscillation of the system so we are simulating the position of the mass so we need the mass we need the mass we need to find the force that should be applied in order to move this mass like one meter one meter so now we will design the uh, state feedback controller based on the LQR so we have to determine the value of Q and R so this is relation this matrix determine how much you are interesting in the state so how should the state follow uh, the, the regulation the regulator are, are the response of the state and R is to quantify how much uh, U how much control low so if we put 10 and 1 and we put like very low R so we are telling to our system I don't care about the control low I care about the state so I care about the system I want the system is I want the response of the system to be improved and I don't care about how much control effort will be applied so by having q and r and a and b of the open loop of the system we could determine the kx so if we run the code up to this so this is the feedback feedback k of the system because we have two state now we need to determine the kr so if the system has dc gain so 1 over DC gain it's to remove that DC gain. So KR is 1 over the DC gain. Then the B closed loop is B multiplied by the KR. And then we will have the, uh, the closed loop of the system. And we will response, uh, simulate the system uh, as a closed loop. So here we plot the system as open loop. And here we plot the system as closed loop. So if we run the code. Now, the blue is the open loop response of the system, and the green is the closed loop. You can see how the response is very good. However, this tech may be a very strong control law. So, in order to control the control law, so imagine that you have, look, this is the forward gain, and this is the feedback gain. Now, if we say to the controller, okay, my control action is very high, so I don't need to put too much effort. But I don't care about the state of the system. You could see now the response. Look, your response is not good as you want because you are not putting too much on the control law. So if I increase the state, for example, put 10 again, you can see still the response is not good. So in order to improve it, let's say I will say 1. So I reduce the weight of the controller. So I said the my control is cheap. Try to improve the response. So this is how the, your response is. Now if I put it point when, so I will reduce also the weight again. You will see that your response is improved. And if I also reduce it again, like point oh oh one. So that's how the QR is working. It depends on how much the weight you put on the state and how much. Uh, the weight you put in the control law. So this video was about uh, having a mass spring damper system. We design, uh, we build the state space module of the system, and we design a state feedback controller based on the LQR. And we say that the LQR 
it's not removing the offset of the system, the error steady state, and that's why we use the DC gain to remove the uh, offset of the system. And we see how we could play with the Q and R in order to have this trade-off between how your response is and how the control action will be applied to your system. See you in next video. Thank you.